everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are in our little corner of Jurassic Park Island having an amazing time our dinosaurs are happy our park is thriving we have got a little bit of money back again we're gonna go around and collect donations from all of the exhibits now and we should get quite a bit more money back and today we are going to be doing something very special also it's oh I know here you go tiny all right let's give you a little bit more food as usual, we are constantly trying to feed up Tiny. You're a big boy, huh? All right, hang on, let me put in a request for more meat. There we go. I'm very excited now that we've started to like dabble a little bit, dip our toes into the entrance of tournaments uh, to continue forward with Tiny here so that we can try to get really strong in uh, all the tournament fights and just see where we can go. All right, but yes, today, today is a wonderful day. We are actually going to expand into the glacial zone, which we haven't done yet. I've kind of put it off so that it's something for us to look forward to as everything else advances. And my requirements for working in the glacial area is that we have uh, two creatures evolving, one in the Jurassic and one in the aquatic zones. And now we have a, the Dryosaurus evolving into level 21. She's gonna be a little bit longer, these two. Yeah, another 24 hours. They take a long time to age up. Let's go down here. Yeah, and let's collect all of these donations. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. And Pebbles, I'll give you just a moment to collect a few more coins. She collects coins so quickly. I can't wait to put more volcanoes around her. That would just be amazing. All right, let's come over here and bink. There we go, 25,000 coins, just like that from one creature. She is fantastic, look at that. Coins, and then you just sit here and you can just watch it. It goes so fast, it's just like coins. More coins, more coins. Oh, that's so cool. All right, well, let's go over to our aquatic zone. We'll be back with these guys pretty soon. Um, let's see, who do I want to feed? I think everyone is fully fed up, it's just that they're waiting to evolve. So everyone's kind of stuck waiting to go to the next level. And we'll get there eventually. We're finally making enough money that evolving someone doesn't kill us forever, even though it, it can take up to a million plus coins to evolve them. The Gigantosaurus would be so cool! I don't think we'll be able to earn enough DNA points this, this round to be able to get it though. Alright, let's go down here. Hi everybody! I know I've got to work on evolving you guys, huh? Everybody's still pretty low level. Oh, and we have, I forgot we had another DNA piece to research, but that is not for today. As you see, Basil is also ready to go up to level 11, so he's the next one up. He's going to take another 22 hours, and we're slowly building up enough feed so that we can start evolving all of these guys, feeding them up some more. What about you? Yeah, I gotta feed you a little bit more, huh? Try is amazing. I, I'm still really excited that we ended up with a gold now that I understand how rare uh, the limited edition DNA is. Let's do that. Get some more food for Try. And let's move on to the glacial zone. And I've done a little bit of work off camera here. Titan boa. I wish we could get that Titan boa. It still says we can get it, but I don't think we can. But I have done a little bit of work off camera to try to prepare some of the spots that we are going to be putting down uh, the glacial creatures at. We'll, we'll clear out some more of the spores soon. But yeah, let's see, speed up. Eh, it's not really worth a buck when it's just one more hour of waiting. Same there. But yeah, we're clearing out some of these old forests and we are getting ready to put down our very first glacial creature. So I'm real excited. And I spent quite a bit of time going through on the research. I can't believe we have another thing to research. We'll wait on that. But I went through and researched all of the uh, ancient fossil pieces. Is that what they're called this time? Yeah, I guess like frozen, I should say frozen DNA pieces that we found. I went through and researched uh, all of them that we had at the time, except for this one. And so now we can have quite a few new creatures who I'm never going to be able to pronounce. Mr. Giant Warthog, the Woolly Mammoth, Megalosaurus, Megalosaurus, maybe. That's a really pretty one. I like this guy. I also like this guy right here. Megasternium. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what you're closely related to. You're interesting. There's also this guy. Little V-shaped rhino guy. I'm gonna have to learn how to pronounce these. Ugh. 
It's, I mean, doesn't that just look like someone bashed the keyboard? I know it's carefully constructed Latin, but I am not good at Latin. Much better at the Asian languages. I'll always, always admit to that first. Then we have this one for $400, which we don't have at the moment. We have this guy, somebody we need to decode, an unfound one, and this awesome, oh, look at this, like an angry armadillo turtle. I like him. I like him a lot. So we've got him too. But today, let's check what the quest want us to work on. So our missions. Place a building, collect 500 coins from buildings. Well, we can work on that. Hammond, you wanted to see me? Please sit down, Dr. Malcolm. You know, when we first started the Glacier Park Project, I believed us to be pioneers in this field of study. Extracting the DNA of late Ice Age period mammals is uh, unprecedented. At least to my knowledge, nothing has changed, has it? Perhaps you're right, but I can't seem to shake the feeling that we're not the only ones on this icy rock. More tea? Hmm, so place five roads and a decoration. All right, so we're doing that. Oh, look, here she is. Oh, she's wearing a parka. Oh, look, we have all of that. So pre-flight check-in has already been completed. Yay! What are we doing now? Oh, I've never seen real snow before. I guess she's from California, I think. Check out the ice fields below us. So beautiful. It's like a white blanket that covers the earth. Put three red flower patches all around the woolly mammoth close together. Wow, that's really specific. Place a souvenir outpost. Okay. And what about you, sir? Watch your step. After you rappel to the ground, the surface of the ice cave will be very slippery. Be careful or you'll end up sliding into the dark. Ooh. Place two small ice sculptures and expand the glacial park. All right. So we've got quite a bit to do down here. It didn't really say anything about any particular creature that we need to put down first. So I'm going to go ahead. Where? Oh, where? We could do the woolly mammoth. Hmm. I kind of want to do this guy, <laughs> but I think the woolly mammoth is pretty traditional. Maybe something that everyone would want to see. And we do have a lot of plants, so let's go ahead and just put down the woolly mammoth real quick. Oh, he's huge. I'm only going to have enough room for one for now. Um, let's do it. Let's just go ahead and put down the woolly mammoth. Dun dun dun! Oh, he has a little incubator! Oh, that's awesome! So we have these incubators instead of, um like the eggs that everybody else has. So that's real interesting. And we need to put down 10 paths. So let's just get that out of the way. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, 10, there we go. All right, we completed that. And now let's just remove these roads. We're not even gonna bother with the roads and all of those pieces. I guess I can't remove that one in this particular park. There we go. And done. All right, so place a building, collect coins from the building, place a decoration. So this one wants red flower patches and a souvenir outpost. So maybe we could work with that. She enjoyed the helicopter ride as well. I love how she gets included in everything. It's actually kind of adorable. All right, so let's see what we have to work with here. So we can do a small ice sculpture with dodos, which is absolutely adorable, or a small fossil. We can do fir trees, rock paintings, look really cool. A little like torch piece. Oh, look at that rock arch. That's awesome. Leafless trees. The red flower patches that she wants are amazingly expensive. So this is another area that we come to spend our money to show off how much money we have. It is amazing. Can people even visit these? I think people can visit these. Let's see if we can visit someone else's glacial park after this. We can also put down small pansy beds. Oh, an inflatable saber tooth. Totally doesn't fit the theme, but it's adorable. I love this icy lake. Oh, look at these purple flowers. A river. Oh, that looks awesome. Cool stone statue. A really nice uh, stone garden. Oh, a garden tree. How do we unlock it? Level 37. Okay, we're almost there. A geyser. Medium ice sculpture. Oh, the small garden tree calls to me. Also the river. I actually really like the lake a lot too. All right, and then what are the buildings? The Info Igloo, Glacial History Museum, Security Bureau, Souvenir Outpost, Power Generator, Watchtower, Ops Control Center, Medical Ward, and Communications Relay. All right, so we have a little bit of work to do here. Let's go ahead and put down a Souvenir Outpost. We can at least get that down here. It's gonna take a while to build. <laughs> oh my gosh, so we've got that down. Um. I think someone wanted ice sculptures. I can afford the ice sculptures. We put down a building. We're going to collect coins from the building. All right, we'll put down a decoration in just a second. I can't afford a 
Uh, okay, we put down the souvenir outpost, so she'll be happy about that. Cannot afford those expensive red flowers just yet. Put down two small ice sculptures. Okay, well, let's work on that. Two small ice sculptures. Doo -doo -doo. Small ice sculptures! I can pull that off at least. We can put them down at the entrance over here. There's one. So far, so good. No sign of trouble yet. Yay, glad he's happy. Place two info igloos. Move a building. Okay. And Happy Mills. Look at this entrolodon specimen. He seems content to be here. Hardly a looker, sure, but I wonder what kind of food the little fellow likes to eat. You should figure this out before you put him in your zoo, sir. That is irresponsible management. He really is. He, he belongs with the, the money counters. And, like, he needs to just give his appropriate budget to the scientist and stay out of the way. Don't cause any problems, Mr. Hammond. Dr. Hammond, I should say. I mean, he is a scientist, too, but he just doesn't act like one sometimes. Ah. Place an intel uh, intelodon and feed it two times. All right, well, I don't think I can do that, my friend. I don't think, uh, well, I, actually I could, but there's no room for him. <laughs> so we're gonna have to wait till we can expand the park a little bit more. But there we go, there's the other ice sculpture. So we've managed to do something. We've got some sculptures down. We've got the incubators down. I am working on expanding the park. In fact, we could do that. Let's go earn some money and then we can work on expanding the park a little bit more. That'll make everybody happy, and we're going to need it now that I realize how much space everybody takes up. So let's pop back over to the Jurassic area. All right. No, I already have him. Okay, there we go. Hello, everyone. Pardon me. I love how much money you guys make. This is why we invested so heavily in getting this area prepared before I moved on to the other areas. Because now when we need this kind of money, voila, look, we come over here run around and we've got money to collect very useful I also should probably be working on expanding uh, this area a little bit more like I want to put a fountain back here some more safari lodges every little bit helps huh pebbles there we go there we go yeah now we're getting to the strategy part all right so let's pop back over to the glacial park and we should have enough money that we can expand. I know, I wish I could get the Titan Boa. It's already gone, though. Duh. And we will expand this direction. There we go. Clearing out the trees, settling in to this icy wilderness. It looks amazing. I can't wait to explore it some more. And now that we've done that, um, should I activate this, I guess? Oh, that's cheap. Okay, well, I activated those <laughs> so we can start bringing in some food for these guys. Um, I guess I could activate, well, I already activated the meat harbor and the shrimp harbor, so we've got all we need from there. So, why don't we fight? Let's see if we can pull off another tournament. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> but it's okay, I haven't fought our upper level guys again, just to see if we can pull this off or not. Alright, so Brachiosaurus, if we enter the tournament, the prize is $8. Uh, let's do it. Alright, let's enter now. And we'll see if I can start doing more of these, because uh, I would love to earn DNA points and be able to spend the DNA points on things. All right, we'll go second. Somebody has a very happy smiling baby. All right, and then we're gonna run over here. We're not putting our, well, do I wanna put him in? I don't think we can, oh, we can. I don't know if it would be a good idea. Let's put him in like last, maybe. All right, so one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, come here, two, no, get back up there, two, and should I put him in for the extra points? No, I, I want to win. Get in there, fight. Oh, we're going to die. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> At least we're going to give it our best bet. All right, because this is probably going to end pretty badly. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to let him attack. Ah, oh, I should have done that. Oh, the pain, the pain. All right, let's see what we can do here. Should I attack you? Yeah, I don't think we're going to win this because they, they came in with a stronger team. But that's okay because it's actually exciting to just at least dive in and try now and then. All right, so there's that. Let's go ahead and block once. I have a feeling we're going to do that. I bet this one's they're going to block this time too. So is Bite good on these guys? I can't remember. Yes, it is. All right. We're going to go ahead. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't, I didn't do anything. 
Alright, another special. Let's see if we can pull this off. Don't block, don't block, don't block. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so I at least weakened you. I'm gonna go ahead and use my my other block. Ah, I don't remember what's strong on this guy! Oh no! Is it charge? Is it swipe? Is it bite? I hope it's swipe. Are you kidding me? It held in! By like the last little bit, it held in! Oh, and you aren't even evolved yet! How, how embarrassing. Alright, well, we'll get you down. Oh, I should have blocked. Oh, well. This is gonna be a fierce battle. I should have put some, some big KO guy in here, but I didn't. Alright, let's see. Um, let's do this. Knock you out. And yeah, he didn't even have to do anything. Look at that guy, though. He is awesome. I love the look of him. And you didn't block at all, sir, so... Oh my gosh. What to do? What to do? Mm. Okay, that doesn't damage him at all. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. <laughs> Let's just throw our last special out there. We tried. Yeah, we tried. Unless I can somehow miraculously on the last move survive this, and I don't think we will. Because he's going to block to protect himself. I would. The irony. The irony. I can taste this, this bitter defeat. Oh, we were so close. <laughs> that was exciting! Alright, well we lost this time, but it totally reminded me to be more careful in the future. I mean, technically we could enter the battle again with some of our stronger guys, but we don't have enough of a team to make it all the way through. Same for the glacial area. I don't think we'd be able to have enough of a team to make it all the way through. But, now we know. I definitely need to work more on evolving everybody. I wonder if we'll just go like on an evolution spree. No more decorations! Just evolving everybody. Get everybody in the in the park and just start evolving everyone. All of our gold levels. Like, look at this little guy. We made him fight when he's just level 10. That's so rough on him. So rough on him. So I think we're going to focus on... Because um, I really do want to start playing more in tournaments. Especially now that I've seen how much bucks you can make from it. So I think we're going to focus more on just evolving absolutely everybody. So that they can really fight pretty, pretty hardy in tournaments and super feeding them and just getting them loaded and ready to go and hopefully that'll end well <laughs> so what do you guys think should we focus on evolving uh pretty much everyone as much as possible and as rapidly as possible first let me know let me know and i guess i'll see you guys next time man so our glacial area is our awesome little new pet project and we'll see how it advances and the birth of our new little woolly mammoth. I wish I had gotten the titan boa. That would have been amazing. Even though it says it's still there, it's not. But yeah, we'll witness the birth of our woolly mammoth. More room to put down. And we'll just put down everybody that we can in the aquatic and the glacial area. So we're making coins off of them. But otherwise, focus all of our coins on evolving our top fighters. And trying to get them ready for the tournament battles. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.